Hello, this is Vilius, and this is my short video about normalization. What is normalization? Database normalization is the process of organizing the columns and tables of a relational database to minimize the data redundancy. And another definition, normalization splits a large table into smaller tables and defines relationships between them to increase the clarity in organizing data. In general, I like to see tables that have one purpose. Having a table serve many purposes introduces many of the challenges like data duplication, data update issues, and increased effort to query data. Why normalize? If you have a big database that is not normalized, people working with it most likely will face lots of problems. Performance will be bad. There are high chances of having multiple rows for one object. Then someday one row will change and then you have a conflict. Long story short, Successfully normalized databases will increase performance and reduce storage. So this is our table. Let's say we need some kind of database for an agency. We are storing our employee ID, the name, and their phone numbers. Common misconception. Our database structure heavily depends on the required functionality. For example, if we always use a full name of the person, it is not necessary to split the person table into first name and last name columns. About phone numbers, if we know that there is a limit, for example, work phone, personal phone, mobile phone, and fax, these three columns wouldn't count as duplicates columns and would still pass the first normal form requirements. To clarify, let's assume that we need this functionality for the finished product. We are going to send personalized letters. For example, hello John, how are you doing? People can only add their mobile phone number. There is no limit of the mobile phone numbers they can add. First normal form sets the very basic rules for an organized database. Each column is unique. Create separate tables for each group of related data and identify each row with a unique column or set of columns. The primary key. So what we did here, you can see we have multiple rows of the same person with their phone numbers. And now first normal form is satisfied as the columns in this table hold just one value. Second normal form. Second normal form further addresses the concept of removing duplicated data. We have to meet all the requirements of the first normal form remove subsets of data that apply to multiple rows of table and place them in separate tables. Create relationships between these new tables and their predecessors through the use of foreign keys. As we can see in this example, we have a new table to store all the phones and another table to determine who owns which phone number. Employees table, the primary key is employee ID. Phones table, the primary key is phone ID and employees phones table is a little bit different. Does that mean that employee ID and phone ID are both primary keys? Not exactly. They are composite primary keys referring to entries in two other tables. SQL code to create that table would look like this. Third normal form. Third normal form goes one large step further. We have to meet all the requirements of the second normal form, remove columns that are not dependent upon the primary key. For third normal form, I adjusted the table a little bit. I added zip code and city columns. We can still save a little bit of space. Zip code determines a city, meaning that many people can live in the same city and have the same zip code. We find that in the employees table, employee ID is the key and only prime key attribute. We find that city can be identified by employee ID as well as zip itself. Neither zip is a super key nor is city a prime attribute. In this case, transitive dependency exists. To bring this table into third normal form, we break the table into two tables, employees with an employee ID, name, last name, and the zip code, and a zip table with a zip code column and the city column. The zip code in this table is referring to the zip code in the employees table.